have officially gone over the deep end when it comes to this beat right now. Like. All right, so it's no secret that music production can be a very heavy task on your computer. And with the new M1 chip, Apple devices have never been faster and more efficient than they are right now. However, there is much more to a computer than just its processor. Now I got what I thought was the most specced out M1 Mac possible. It was only after I bought the computer that I found out that it was Best Buy's highest model. And the highest model that Best Buy offers is the eight gigabyte RAM version of this computer. So, that's all that I've got. So today I want to find out if that's all that you really need for music production. Now I will be going over a few different points here in this video, but my main focus is going to be how much will it take to break this iMac. So inside of FL Studio, I'll be making a beat where I add a bunch of different plugins while checking the CPU at the top to see how it holds up. Sorry for that incredibly long intro. Let's get into the video. All right, let's try and break us an iMac. So recently in order to kickstart my creativity, I'm using a very simple uh, minimalist sort of melody loop. And then I build my melody off of there and then replace that melody loop with my melody. But don't worry, we will be using a bunch of powerhouse VSTs today like Omnisphere to really try and push the limits of what this computer can really do. All right, this melody seems to be fine. I think this melody loop is just a four bar loop, man. It's just a four bar loop. So I'm just cut it down to eight bars and then I add the second part over here and now we should be good to go. All right, so first I wanna add a drum loop just to get like the vibe that I'm trying to go for and then I'll make my melodies and the VSTs after that. I forget to turn off the freaking metronome, man. It's so annoying. Uh, that took me way too long, but I think I finally have a pattern that I think is okay. Plunk these on over too. Make unique, cause why not? Pull you down an octave. the same get rid of you guys none of you and then why not just get rid of this all together too all right dope so we've got the most boring beat known to man obviously because there's not really a whole lot of variety in here right definitely need to add some more melodies i think and now we can start trying to break this mac <laughs> let's go over here and try and add these to a mixer track all of my melodies let's try and add some effects to this stuff because this sounds a little bit too boring you know you can always spice up any sort of melody with uh effects it's paprika so let's try and do that now. First step is going to be portal. Portal will be pretty good. Make it sound more unique. Now, whenever I'm going through portals presets, I always go down to like 30 or something percent on here in the mix level, just because they're very in your face. But let's try and see if we can't find anything in here that we like. Right there, sounds about good. Next thing, it never hurts to add some shaper box too. Never hurts, my favorite plugin of all time. All right, so I think that I wanna do some panning here, you know, but only on like the high. So we'll go over here, put this down over here. It's actually panning the, the portal as well in the high end. So that actually sounds pretty cool. Some more width again in that, uh, that high end only, I think. Cool, yeah. You know what, but it's just not wide enough for me. You know, I need this to be a lot. <laughs> A lot wider. Ozone Imager 2 should be perfect and help me solve that problem. So you can see the more over here is the more narrow. And you can definitely hear that too if you're wearing any sort of headphones. But the more that you increase it, the more it's going to be going throughout everything. See how that's going crazy? It's more full, you know? I think it's just going to be just better. <laughs> Got to add some EQ to make sure nothing's too muddy down over here. Shouldn't be, but, you know, the whole point is trying to break this computer right now. And adding the e an EQ uh, will definitely help with that. Now, granted, Pro Q3 is very good with CPU, but still. Just another little layer that'll help out with that. But you know what? Also, I want some wobbles in here. I need some RC20. Make it sound more vintage, you know? That sounds pretty good, I think. Let's go and move on to this one right here. EQ in the second one so we can get us some of that low end. Make room for our 808s. That's pretty good. 
Let's make the 808 stand out a bit more too by putting on some Somatics Diablo. Same thing with this kick, man. Just gotta increase the punch and body a little bit. I'm good to go. Now, I could show you guys everything I'm gonna be doing here, but I'm really just gonna be adding some Diablo and every single one of these drum instruments over here. CPU check right now, we're still at 24. You know, something like 23, 24, hovering around there. Still not bad from adding as many plugins as I have on here right now. Between these two melodies, uh, 808s, and a lot of the drums having Diablo on there, everything still sounds pretty okay. Also, I want these second hi-hats over here to actually be panning. So once again, shaper box two, go over here and hit basic and maybe lower the mix down to like 50. But not only that, that's some reverb onto there too, because why not? Pro R, you know, just use the best reverb in the game to get these hi-hats going. Shaperbox 2 is actually panning the reverb as well, so that sounds pretty cool. All right, now one more thing I can do for these drums is put them all, except for the 808, onto a mixer bus right over here. And then I like to go and grab DS10 Drum Shaper, increase the attack a little bit, decrease the sustain, just very minor things in here. But now same thing for those melodies, man. Time for uh, a bus in here, so we can't do anything for that. Now this next plugin might add some major um, CPU, I think. We're gonna use Neutron 3 Elements, and this is on the melody bus, by the way. You see that CPU starts to spike over there. It's the first major spike that I've seen all day. Still hovering around 45, so now we're starting to get up there. But now, again, it's still too boring for me, man. It's still too boring. Let's go over here and add a lot more stuff. First of all, we need a brand new melody, I think, for the hook. With no beat playing at all, we're just sitting here, we're hovering around 35, something around there. This is without the be even playing as soon as i hit play starts actually around 35 still so not terrible at all now it's time to go in here and add some more vsts to make some more melodies and what better powerhouse vst to use than omnisphere i've honestly heard stories of industry producers not being able to add more than like two instances of omnisphere or the computer will crash so let's go over here and see how this computer holds up to that what the hell is that? So something ended up happening here that wasn't very apparent while I was recording. From this point on, my screen gets some major lag and at some point even freezes and comes back at random points. I noticed it while editing this video and I thought it was just Premiere Pro being laggy, which it does a lot. But in this clip, you can clearly see that my face cam is doing just fine while the FL Studio is lagging severely behind. And the next clip shows that my computer is working just fine through my external camera. Now I've recorded multiple videos with this setup and I have never had that happen before. So it could just be a fluke, but I think it's interesting how it only broke once I started to make a video of trying to break it. So maybe I was successful in overloading it? I really don't know. That was whack, dude. That was so corny. All right, but now I, I think we need something different, man. I think we're gonna need something like uh, like Arcade, really. So if you guys don't know, Arcade is an extreme CPU hog. It just, it will go up immediately. See, now we're sitting at 52 just by having it open. And this is where everything completely falls apart. We have officially gone over the deep end. When it comes to this beat right now, like, it's all over the place, but I wanna keep on asking. Audio from the beat and even my microphone are destroyed and even out of sync from my camera. So I would love to show you guys the rest of this test, but uh, unfortunately, it's completely unrecoverable. Again, in real time, everything seemed to be working perfectly. It was just the recording software that got completely screwed up. So basically after that, all I really did was add a couple more melodies here and there using some Omnisphere, which everything was still running fine, so I thought. And one arcade patch, which uh, was only for like some textures and ambiance. It wasn't even like a real melody. Then to top it all off, I added Ozone 9 for my mask. Mastering. That's without a doubt the most CPU heavy plugin that I have. And that is what really broke this computer. CPU was around the high 70s and there's a bunch of pops and clicks in any time you played the audio. So that concludes the crash test for this video, but now we have to talk about what it all means. One powerful tool that every producer has is the ability to bounce anything into audio. You can record it into Edison or just export the entire melody. Once you do that, you can simply delete all the plugins that are taking up so much of that precious CPU. Now I avoided this technique for the sake of this video, but it will save you a bunch of headaches. Now for the recording software, I I have to keep these videos interesting, so I mentioned the fact that maybe it was too much and the computer couldn't handle it, but I'm leaning to more towards the side of the recording software just messing up because OBS can really suck sometimes. So it's possible the CPU had nothing to do with that at all. Now here's the biggest caveat for me personally. I record these videos for you guys and put a lot of effort into the editing. That being said, this computer cannot handle some of the most basic tasks in video editing. I have three video clips in every single project that I have. I have my screen recording, 
I have my A cam and then I've got my B cam right here. That is three clips that I've got going at the same time instead of my video editing software, which is Premiere Pro. All three clips are in 1080p, which is a very basic resolution. And I don't think it'll be the standard for much longer with 4K becoming so much more popular and widely accessible. It can't even process those three clips in 1080p. It should not be that difficult to render three 1080p clips. It really shouldn't. And for 4K, forget about it. It can't even run one 4K clip. I've even gone in like 2K and then just like slightly above 1080p. And even then it lags in, in my software. It's just, it's not worth it. Okay, so with all of that being said, it is time for our final thoughts on the M1 Mac 8 gigabyte version. If you're just making beats to sell, you're working with an artist, or you're just doing this for fun, then yeah, I think this is more than enough to do everything that you want to do. I never even got this thing to officially crash in my test, and I had a lot of plugins and VSTs in there. Next, if you're making massive productions like EDM or a film score, I still think yes, but you may have to utilize that bouncing things to audio technique to save some more CPU. If you have those ginormic project files of just like tracks and tracks and tracks of audio. But if you're trying to do what I'm doing, being an internet music personality, recording and editing high production videos, I strongly suggest you save up a little bit extra money and get the 16 gigabyte version of this computer. The only reason why I didn't get it was I didn't know it was an option, making me need to upgrade from this computer in the future much faster than if I had the 16 gigabyte version. But I actually did save the final beat for you guys to listen to, so let's listen to that on the way out. So thank you guys so very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.